Hey, Jamie Hartley from Crossfader again, and in today's Serato DJ Tips and Tricks video, we're going to have a look at how to get rid of duplicate files on your PC or laptop. Something a lot of DJs find is that as their music library builds, duplicate files also become a problem. You may download the same file and then add it to your Serato music library, and then we have this problem of having multiple files. Not only does it take up more space on your computer, but it also makes your Serato management a lot messier. To get rid of these files, first of all, we need to find them and source them on our laptop or computer first and delete them from that location. And then there's a way to highlight them in Serato all at once so we can delete them in one quick and easy way. First of all though, if you use iTunes to store your music, there's a really quick way to show duplicate files if you click File, Library, and Show Duplicate Items. This will then show up all the duplicate items within your iTunes library, and it's as simple as you could just hold command or control depending on Mac or PC and click on the files you want to delete. Something to note is I would always look and maybe delete the files with the lower bitrate if there are two. You would then go through clicking various ones and when you're happy just com press command or control and backspace or delete. It will then come up asking if you if you're sure you want to move them to the trash. Click yes and that's done. Obviously, depending on how big your music library is, I've got quite a bit of work to do here to work through all of this, but it's worth spending the time going through. You'll free up a lot of space. Click done when you're finished, and that has then deleted them from your iTunes music library. If you store your files somewhere on your laptop or computer within my computer or your music, there's a really good free program that I found called Dupe Guru. This program has a build for both Windows and Mac users, so anybody should be able to make use of it. And you can choose between different file types. I'm going to choose music because I don't want to accidentally delete other files. I'm just focusing on my music at the moment. We then hit the plus icon, add a new folder, and then we choose the folder where our music is stored. Mine is in iTunes, so I'm going to choose iTunes for now and then press open. Once you've got it highlighted here, just click scan. Depending on the size of your music library, this could take a while. Once the scan is complete, this new window will pop up with all the results. Now it's as simple as it shows one file and then usually the smaller file type underneath. So for example, this bloodstream file, you can see that the size in megabytes is smaller and the bitrate is actually smaller. So that is the one that I would want to delete. It's as simple as I can click and tick each one of these files. Again, if your music library is quite large, this may take a while. I've got quite a bit of work to do here as well, but for now I'm just going to delete a few so we can show you how this works going back into Serato. Once you've checked the files you want to delete, simply click this gear icon and send the marks to the trash. You can send them to the trash or even directly delete the files so you don't have to empty your trash. Always remember, whenever you delete files, make sure to empty your trash to completely delete them from your computer. Right click, empty trash, yes I'm sure, and they should have deleted. Now if I navigate back to Serato DJ, there's a quick way to find duplicate files. All we need to do is click on the Files tab and rescan the ID3 tags for our whole library. Again, depending on the size of your library, this may take a while. I won't do it all, but let's just quickly stop that. Now to locate the files that are duplicates and the ones that are now missing because we've deleted them, all we need to do is click this column header here. This now organizes your music library by its location, whether it be in iTunes or on your laptop. Now you'll notice all the ones in orange are things that aren't available anymore. The ones with the um, question mark here without the background to the question mark, we can select either by holding shift and clicking the top one and then the bottom one, and then to delete, just command and delete. This will remove them from your library. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and want some more free DJ content delivered straight to you.